Hello and welcome to a Hibs match preview. It is dark in this room. That is bright because it's through the window. I'm not sure how well this microphone's working, but we've got a match preview for Falkirk away. So, oh, there'll be a mat. There'll be a live watch run for the game on my normal watch long settings on here. Anyways, we need to look at some stuff on here tomorrow. Hibs, Falkirk v Hibs. Cool. We need to start by looking at the head to head between the three teams over the last five meetings, which takes us back to 2016 when Falkirk beat Hibs in the 90th minute. In the playoff semi final. Uh, no thanks. That was their only win against us in the last five. Since then, there's been another three wins for Hibs and a third a draw. That draw was November 2016, a 1 1 at Easter Road. Paul Hamlin and John Baird on the score sheet. Last time Hibs met Falkirk was at Easter Road in the Championship in 2017, a 2 1 win for Hibs in that occasion. Ambrose and Keating with the Hibs goals, with Craig Sibold with the Falkirk goal on that occasion. Hmm. And last time we met Falkirk in Falkirk, the 31st of December 2016, a 2-1 win for Hibs that day. Jason Cummings and Chris Commons with the goals for Hibs. And Craig Sibold once again with the only goal for Falkirk on that occasion. In this competition, last time out, which we'll get to in a second, Falkirk. Beaten Greenock Mortar on penalties. So, we'll get up to their form here. They've also played Stranraer and Kilmarnock in pre-season with a win against Stranraer and loss against Kilmarnock. Both of them at home. They only managed to get, and they managed to get the bonus point in the group against Greenock Morton. On Saturday, and did get a red card for their troubles. They were without Liam Henderson for the game against Hibs tonight. As you're watching this video, it should be out some point on Tuesday. I don't know what time. Anyways, um, as for Hibs. Our last three games, we've won them all. Hartlepool, Burton and Clyde, three wins. Two wins in the 30 matches, and then the win against Clyde on Saturday with the Christian Deutsch hat-trick. Elias Melkerson and Josh Campbell with the first with the five first-half goals. Brilliant stuff, Hibs. Brilliant. Same tomorrow night, please. 5-0 the end. Oh. Glitching camera. Okay. Anyways, um, my PlayStation didn't want to be recorded earlier, so here's the lineup that I'm going. I'm going to say we're going to have. And I'll just go myself into the corner if I can. There we go. So David Marshall, Lewis Stevenson, Ryan Porteous, Kyle McClelland, Lewis Miller. Joe Newell, no one can. Uh, Ewan Henderson, Aidan McGeady, Elias Melkerson, and Runner Hauger. With something like that bench. I don't really know. But obviously, we'll have a bigger bench because we can have more subs now. So, yeah. That's. I'm not sure if. Henderson will start, or Hauger, but um, I'm pretty sure McClelland will start over Bashiri. Or at least that's what I'd like to see. And I'm not sure between Cads and Miller. Obviously, Doig's away. Demi Mitchell's not fit yet. So, Stevenson will play. David Marshall, just to keep the gloves. 
Aidan McGeady and Joe Newell. Uh, Lee Johnson has said could start the game, so that's what they're in. Yeah, and I don't think Deutsch will play two games. I'll play two games in like what, what was it, four days? I don't think he'll play two games in four days. So I think Melkerson will start. Obviously, work permits com permitting could be Ella Yuan that starts up front. As also work permitting work permits permitting could be Joe Tavares starting out on the right or the left, depending what side McGeady plays on. Um Yeah. Um also not sure about Mamadou Bo Yang. Have to wait and see what happens with his work permit as well. So obviously that goes through then he could be starting up front against Volkirk, but he's probably but the guys with the work permit problems are probably more for the Bonnie Riggs game on Sunday. Which, obviously, I'll talk about on Saturday. We'll talk about the Bonnie Riggs game then. So, um, yeah. I'm uh, going to just make myself bigger again there. Cool. There you go, that. Cool, cool, cool. And, well... What else we need to do? It's been a while since I've done one of these match preview videos. Um, 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 um. Duh, done. Form. Line up. Head to head. Score prediction. That's the one. Um, I don't know, basically. I don't really know, but. We're going to say a hip win, obviously. Um, 3 1 hips. McGeady, mm, um, McGeady, Porteous, and ooh, ooh, ooh. McGeady, Porteous, Ewan Henderson, with the hips goals. Couldn't tell you who plays for Falkirk these days. We'll have a look at the... Can I see the lineup from the last game? No, I can't. So I can't tell you who plays for Falkirk because it doesn't tell me here. It doesn't even tell me who's got the penalties for them. <laughs> fine then, fine. So... Anyway, so that's it for me for today. Uh, I should hopefully be back for a live watch long tomorrow. Uh, I should be back for a live watch long about 50 minutes before kickoff at half past seven. If I'm not, then well, oh well, there'll be content for the Bonnie Rig game on Saturday. And then there'll be a match vlog for Bonnie Rig. Vlog for Bonnie Rig. We're going to Bonnie Rig. Come on, lads. And, yeah, that's basically it for today, I think, for this video. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.